following opinions are solely those of Botest.com and its test captain. Hi, I'm Steve for Botest.com, and today we're going to be taking a look at a new launch from CRA in the luxury L-Class lineup. It's the L550 Fly. She carries the premium features we've come to expect from the lineup, but as each new model comes out, it seems that CRA exceeds the expectations from the previous model. With this latest version, it's literally the best of what CRA has to offer. Let's take a look, starting with the focus of the yacht's designator, the Flying Bridge. The Flying Bridge is accessed from stairs to the port side of the cockpit, and grab handles are conveniently placed. This represents one of our many gathering and social areas with several key elements. First, there's a J-shaped settee to starboard. New technology with regards to padding and the angle of the seat backs makes for a noticeably more comfortable seat. It's wrapping around a standard large teak pedestal table with expandable leaves that rest on stainless rails. The front seat back slides to provide convertible seating just ahead and there's storage under the footrest. Fully forward are separate lounges that have adjustable supports under the legs. And again, we're seeing more of the comfortable seat backs and padded armrests. Behind the helm, there's an entertainment center with a sink, grill, a stainless steel grab handle, and refrigerated drawer just below. All of the main seating is under the protection of the standard hardtop with an opening sunroof and aft extendable awning. This can also be swapped out for an optional extended hardtop that comes with a full enclosure, bridge air conditioning, and heat. With luxury being the keyword on the L550 Fly, we're not surprised that the swim platform is finished in teak. A hatch to starboard conceals a reboarding ladder, and a handhold in the hatch aids in the reboarding. Rails are towards the center to allow for fitting a cradle for securing a tender or PWC. The 4 foot 6 inch extension of the platform lowers hydraulically for launching or creating a private beach, and when doing so, stairs that are flush when the platform is up are automatically revealed when the platform is lowered. Over to the transom there's generous storage and notice how CRA makes it easy to organize the storage so well with dedicated space for most of the items we'll typically find here. Also notice how the hatch is surrounded by stainless steel and two stainless struts hold the hatch open. We enter the cockpit from stairs to the port hand side. Here there's a large L-shaped settee wrapping around a teak triangular pedestal table. The table can collapse to provide more room. All decking is teak with a draining section at the front to keep water out of the salon. There's storage just above a cockpit refrigerator just under the stairs to the flying bridge. To both sides of the cockpit, there are convenient boarding doors just before heading to the side decks. As we make our way to the bow, there are grab handles making the transition safer. Then 32-inch high side rails take over the safety task. Deck space is 17 inches wide at the hips and narrows to 10 inches at deck level. It's easy to say that the bow is another entertainment venue, but on the L50 Fly, it actually is. A triangular pattern makes up the opposing seating with a side mount teak pedestal table adding to the charm. C-Ray came up with a clever method of storing the forward seat backs. Just lift the seat, lower the seat back, and fold it down. Replace the seat cushion and you're done. This makes for a gathering area that is at once versatile and comfortable. And the night before this shoot, there were five of us all gathered around here and we were all comfortable and all had a place for our drinks. To the side, not only do we have stereo control ability, there are also USB and MP3 inputs. Storage for the bow table is just ahead. To the four corners, there are mounts for a bimini that can make the hot sun more tolerable. We transition inside via the opaque mare stainless steel sliding doors that can open full width. A flush threshold allows a seamless transition and 6 feet 5 inches of overhead and plenty of glass present an open atmosphere. Inside, we're immediately at the galley, right between the salon and the cockpit gathering areas, ensuring that the chef remains at the social hub of the yacht. The underside of the counter end is left open to provide a more open look to the galley, rather than have it be more of a division between the galley and salon forward. Pin lights are at the top for subtle night lighting. Right away, we start to see the beautiful quartered walnut woodwork with matching grains that define the L-series. High gloss cherry is also available, Decking is wide plank wood flooring. A cabinet conceals the microwave oven and the door conceals just above. The counters are all standard silestone quartz available in a light tone or the dark scene here. A two burner induction stove is next and then a cutting board covers the single basin sink that includes contemporary fixtures. Features below start with a pull out storage and here's a convenient storage solution. Trash receptacles on a slider that releases with the touch of the foot. There's bottle storage behind the counter and more storage overhead with an acrylic finish to the doors. At the end of the counter, there's an open serving area with twin swivel pedestal seats just in front. 
Over to the starboard side, we have a wine chiller. Ahead, there's plenty of open counter space for buffet serving. Below, there's a cabinet with a pull-out slider holding the glassware, stemware, and tableware, all with Sea Ray logos. Above is the receiver for the track vision satellite connected to the TV which rises from the counter space above. Then there's the entertainment center components and still more storage. Fit and finish wise, we notice that there are no end trim seams showing a face and then a side. Here we have a completely veneered corner and at the top, matching grains even with small filler pieces. All the satin finishes open grained and matching grain. There's also decorative metal trim the Poseidon blinds have a tension system rather than strings, so we press a release, move it, and it stays. The overhead is vinyl with a center section that conceals indirect lighting and the heat and AC vents, so the room cools from the center and the air flows down for a more even control. No one person sits next to a cold vent while the rest stay hot. Just ahead, the salon creates a comfortable and serene environment and features an L-shaped Toscana upholstered sofa with twin ultra-suede upholstered ottomans in place of an optional dining table. Note how the ottomans have a reversible top to double as serving trays for informal meals at the 50-inch TV. As is often the case when you own a yacht, should there be an abundance of overnight guests, the sofa effortlessly converts to a queen bed, including with convenient storage. Across from the salon is opposing seating in the form of a two-person love seat. As beautiful as the main deck features are, the luxury continues down below. We access the lower deck from a center-mounted companionway, and we'll start with the full beam master stateroom just aft behind a door with ornate hardware. Here we have luxury personified with a corner-mounted island queen maximizing the space and 6 feet 4 inches of overhead clearance. To the port side there's a hull side window with an opening port light, below is open counter space, Further below is a small refrigerator, drawer storage, storage above, and a small settee. Forward we have a small hanging locker behind a glass door, and the entertainment components are just above, connected to the 40-inch TV. A cedar hanging locker is just beyond, and under the TV, a side-by-side -side washer and dryer. There's additional storage under the berth. To the starboard side of the berth, there's a small storage compartment. And if we remove the pillows, we see concealed storage that hides an owner's safe. As for the little touches of luxury, the window valances are upholstered in a high-end vinyl covering, there's recessed indirect lighting, and it also conceals the heat and air conditioning vents. The aft bulkhead has upholstered headboards with a water jet cut and backlit powder-coated decorative aluminum artwork. The edges of the bed are beveled to make it more comfortable to sit on, and all colors really have an international appeal where darker or lighter shades become more regional. These windows have port lights that don't show frames from the outside, just a small line in the acrylic. The frames are actually bonded to the inside, leaving a lens that matches the outside, giving a clean look. Just at the entrance is the master head behind a pocket door. Here we have a vanity with silestone natural quartz surface countertop, a vessel sink with storage below, and a walk-in shower with acrylic door and teak deck. Mirrored cabinetry is lighted at the sides. Next, we have the guest stateroom to starboard. Here we have twin berths that naturally convert to a large single berth. The two beds actually slide right over the center night table and another is revealed to the side. Natural light is via the hull side windows with more of the decorative art above. Recess lighting is at the overhead. At the forward bulkhead is a 24 inch TV and a closet behind a mirrored door. Across the atrium is the day head. This has much the same features as the master, only on a smaller scale. And notice the circular shower stall and tiled floor. Finally, we have the VIP stateroom forward. This has the now familiar arrangement of a queen size island berth flanked by whole side windows with the decorative artwork and recessed lighting above. There are upholstered sideboards with shelves above. 110 volt outlets and power USB ports are within reach of the bed. A closet is behind the mirror door next to the 32 inch TV. And we also have a private access to the day head. Overall, the C-Ray L550 Fly has a demeanor that is both elegant and functional. She has a single level layout that makes gatherings more accessible and her fit and finish is on par with the finest we've seen come out of the company's yacht facility. She truly is C-Ray's best of the best. And that's my full features inspection. For BoatTest.com, I'm Captain Steve. We'll see you on the water.